With the holiday season in full effect, many Maui businesses struggling to stay afloat are hoping for a much needed boost in business. Our Kristen Concilio reports how the community support is bringing hope. It's a story that's all new at six. Right about now, Robert Loera's toy stores in Lahaina would be full of holiday shoppers. But after losing his Front Street store in the fires and not yet being able to reopen a second location nearby, he's barely making 20% of the sales he used to. We're used to communicating with people when they walk in the door and giving them the experience of our store and kind of charming them with our personalities and our products. But the owner of Maui Toy Works is grateful to have another chance to sell his products. He was one of more than 100 vendors at the Kokua for Maui Shop and Show Aloha event. The event at the Neil Blaisdell Center attracted more than 1,000 people. This is nice to go from zero traffic to uh, being able to keep our businesses afloat again. Golfing store vendor Yo Maui is in its first year of business. It lost virtually all of its customers at the Hyatt Regency in Ka'anapali, which is housing many Lahaina families who lost their homes. Tracking to 250000 for its first year and, um, you know, went from that to a standstill. For Loera, one of his biggest sellers, Goodnight Lahaina books, Maui Strong Bears and Puzzles, are helping him make it through. And we've sold thousands of those and a beautiful Maui puzzle, which depicts... Uh, Front Street in its glory prior to the fire. So um, before we knew it, we had all these orders we couldn't fill. The Kokua for Maui pop-up event sponsored by the state and counties throughout the islands is not only helping boost business, but also bringing hope. In the end of the day, it just lets us know that um, we, we can do this. We can get through this. We will rise up from the ashes like the phoenix. The next event is on Saturday at the Kukui Grove Center on Kauai. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.